Access Unit B covers building and using queries. A query answers a question about the information in your database. You're able to select a subset of fields and records from one or more tables and present them uh, as data in one single data sheet. A major benefit of working with data through a query is that you can focus only on the specific information that you're needing. You can enter edit and navigate data in a query data sheet just like in the table data sheet. Because a query doesn't physically store the data, a query data sheet is sometimes called a logical view of the data. And technically, a query is a set of structured query languages instructions or an SQL. Now we're going to use the query wizard. What we need to do first is we're going to open up a database that we have created. I'm going to open up Quest Travel B. So I'm going to go to Open Other Folders because I've not opened it recently. I stored this file on my desktop. And here is Quest Travel B. So I will open it. I'm going to enable my content. I need to create a query, so for that purpose I'll have to click the Create tab up on the ribbon section. And we're going to use the Query Wizard, so I'm going to click Query Wizard. And it asks me which type of query I want to create. I'm going to select Simple Query, so I'm going to click OK. Simple comes up by default. It says that my tables and queries, I have a query called Customer Invoice. I'm going to select this down arrow, and I want to select the table called Tours. So I'll find Tours, and it brings me the available fields. The fields that I want to look at are going to be Tour Name. I can double click on it and it adds it to the selected fields. I want to select City, and I want to select Category. Finally, I want to select Price. Another option is I can click the arrow pointing to the right to move that field into my selected fields. Next, I want to join another table so I select the down arrow in my Tables and Queries, and I'm going to select the table called Customers. So I'm going to look through here and find Customers. It shows me its available fields, and I want the first and last name. So I'm going to select first name and last name. Then I'm going to click Next. I want the Detail view, so next I'll click Next, and it says that it is the Tours Query. I want to name it something differently, so you're going to select that to change its name. It's going to be Tour Customer List, and then I'm going to click Finish. That pulls in a data sheet that has just the information that you're looking for.